Couldn't see nothing. There ain't no way that just happened. <laughs> Dude, that is freaking awesome! Bam! Oh my gosh. Dude, I mean, he ain't going nowhere. Talking about a new time <laughs> coming. <laughs> Woo! Look at our own. Oh my. That right there is why we do it, baby! if we can't go get us another one. We are actually in North Carolina right now. And um, why we are in North Carolina will, uh, will, will come as a further notice. But, but we're here to talk about this Florida trip that I pleasantly missed out on trying to keep a job. <laughs> so uh, every year, as you know, we, we go down to Florida and, uh, you know, we get up with Casey, we go down there, usually shoot a bird or two, and uh, we make the drive back home, and that starts our turkey season every year. But uh, this year was a little different uh, just because I had to work. Josh was wanting to go. Drake was wanting to go. And I didn't get to go. But, so I, you know, me and Dad's talking it over. He's like, what you got to do? I said, well, I got to work, you know, it's – three night shifts and then i'm off seven days so like if we just wait and don't go opening day i can go they said all right oh, okay well i hate that i said, hate what he said we're still going <laughs> said, what do you mean we're still going so they they went on down made the trip they packed the truck up and went and made a journey so i'll let them talk about it i don't know nothing about it other than the pictures that i woke me up while i was trying to sleep so i could be fit for my job but but go ahead, Dad. Tell them. Tell everybody just what happened. Okay. Uh, like Blake was saying, Josh and I, along with uh, my grandson, Drake, um, we drove on to Florida to hunt with Casey, just like Blake was saying. And um, we started out that morning kind of like this North Carolina weather they were calling for. It started out as we drove out about 90 degrees, and then it uh, turned into wind and rain and uh, made conditions a little tougher. Uh, and really calling in for a big front that afternoon. So we started off, uh, KCR had a, a good pop-up blind for us to get in and have Drake, you know, as comfortable as possible and uh, really trying to make it, you know, special for him. And he was up to bat first, and then Josh was on deck, uh, unless we had a multiple tag team, then I was going to try to push Josh out of the way and try to have something special with Drake. And... Um, but anyway, we started off that morning. We got in the pop-up line, and Casey uh, had him a nice tripod set up, so uh, we had his shotgun put up, and he was borrowing uh, Uncle Blake's uh, Charles Daly 12-gauge and uh, <laughs> with those TSS-9s. So, Which he was not aware of. Yeah, that's <laughs> correct. Uh, he had been shooting uh, dove shells and getting them you know, used to the gun and shooting off his knee and – I ran a few scenarios by him and, and letting him shoot and um, practice out of a tripod. However, Casey had him set up uh, for that first opening morning in the central zone. So, uh, started breaking daylight. Uh, we got um, one hen came in, came right behind the blind, circled us, got in her dust bowl. She kicked up some dust for a little bit, and, and then she walked around, fed a little bit, and came back. She just laid down what? Josh, a couple of times. Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah. Just bedded right down. Stayed, uh, stayed basically uh, within 15 yards of us most of the morning. And uh, so we we started calling. Casey was calling. Josh was calling. Uh, we got a hen to answer us, correct, coming mm -hmm. in from our right. And I told him with the wind, though, I said, I think I hear one drumming. And um, they were coming right to us. And um, – probably going to come out about 20 yards and then we had a few deer crossing through below us at the same time and we had uh what one one big nanny she yeah. she started i don't know if she she was trying to win us but she didn't like the looks of the pop-up drake did a phenomenal job being still i have to mm -hmm. give him kudos for that he did really really well However, the deer started blowing and stomping her, stomping her feet. And shortly after that, I didn't hear any more hens calling, uh, no drumming, and we didn't see the birds any anymore. 
So I said, man, what are we going to do now? So we we just kept doing some more blind calling, blind calling. And, Josh, I'm going to let you take it over from here for a little bit. There's always, when when we go, it's always deer in there. There's always, I don't know, it's – it's just, I guess, Central Florida, but there's deer always coming up and, and spooking and stuff. So you play that game with them every year. We did, and I'm I'm happy that they they bogged y'all down for a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not for long. <laughs> yeah, they were gobbling right off the roost. We had yeah. two different birds in two different directions mm-hmm. gobbling, and then um, after the the deer fiasco and the blowing, it just kind of you know shook the woods up a little bit. You know how they do. Uh, stomping and everything else but yeah i think after the blind call and then we started hearing a gobble way back behind us Mm -hmm. um closer to to the truck yeah so uh again uh can't stress how great drake done i mean he was dead still he didn't move a muscle it was good we were crammed in that blind like (laughs) sardines but um it worked out so we finally decided to bug out and uh we went back toward the truck tried to strike that bird up yeah we get back to the truck, and uh, <laughs> Casey's got a camera out on this this hill. This knoll where all the birds like to hang out. And uh, of course, we called one time before we left the blind. We get to the truck, and camera goes off. There's a bird back in the in the clearing. Mm-hmm. So we turn around, make it about halfway back, sit down, try to set up. And it just didn't work. And um, that's when we got the little phone call about hey, there's two birds in the backyard. Yeah. So we. Hop in the truck, strike out back toward his house, and uh, get there. There ain't nothing, no yeah. sight, plenty of sign of birds. We hit this little back road and uh, go down to where the water is, and we're like, well, we don't think the birds would have went any further than this. Yeah. So we call a little bit. While, we, while the wind's blowing. While off. the wind's blowing, yeah. Probably 15 to 20 miles an hour. Yeah, and it's blowing back toward his house. Yeah. So it's carrying our calling sound, but anything that was answering or anything else we can't hear, so... We call a little bit. We hang out for a minute. We're like, hey, let's let's go hit something else. And uh, you're right. We walk down this road, and there's a path that cuts over into his yard, a nice old clear path with some water in it. About the time all four of us break the corner, mm-hmm. there's two redheads yeah. in, in the yard, and yeah. uh, they're kind of bugging out, yeah. going left, run back right. Mm. We make it out the clear and hop in the backyard, and his wife's coming out the house, hooping and hollering. I've been texting and calling y'all. <laughs> Long beards in the yard. Oh man. my god! You're like, yeah, we yeah. we seen them. <laughs> so then we're looking at Casey, like, where's your phone at? It's on silent. Like, oh, also, gosh. when when Android jo- when, users, yeah, when Josh is saying uh, in the yard, it's actually probably a five acre field. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, big right. field, pond, all yeah. this, you know, back behind the the yard, but you yeah. Know, all big open property there yeah well this is what tripped me out is we usually go every year and we go to the same same spot and you know it's kind of a double-edged sword for me because our videos have the same backdrop to say uh but i mean if it works why you know why why fix it it? yeah anyway so we we go to this honey hole and we go in we scout that evening we brush in and Climb in that next morning all silent because we already raked our trail out. And next thing you know, turkey's dead. Um, but, you know, Dad texted me and he was like, uh, you know, nothing ever stays the same. So some deep pockets come in and bought the property up around him, realized there was turkeys in the area and put up a big old fence. So if y'all if y'all seen last year, that Tom, my dad shot, actually comes through the fence, under the barbed wire, and boom, we roll him. And you know now there's a big old eight foot fence there blocking the turkeys off so i mean they could fly it but you know they're probably not going to do that so so y'all not only was not in the honey hole in backyards and in everywhere else and and i you know i was thinking god darn why don't they go to the hammock yeah and sure enough well we're trying to make it work and after the way the morning went the time coming out on camera then the birds in the backyard us walking back up on them they were coming to us and we bust them yeah. i'm like man this is the way this weekend's gonna go yeah. right here and I, I told josh i said look we're we're here for a day and a half um hunting all day saturday and sunday morning right i said i have to get drake back to school he did miss friday uh when we drove down i said but look i said every time drake i mean blake and i have an issue if something goes doesn't go right i said it always ends up better I said, it may not this time, but I said, typically, it ends up the better show out, uh, the turkey show out better, and it just makes for a better hunt and better film. Yeah. And I mean, we went to the hammock. Yeah. Me and Josh seen that, too, that one year. Uh, 
birds just kept busting you like mm-hmm. you know i'd shot a bird and i was like all right your turn let's get you on camera and it wouldn't work it was something failing every single time and i told josh that man i don't i don't know what's going on but something bigger is at work here yeah and it, sh- it seemed like every bird i shot was either they snuck up on us and pinned us yep. to where we couldn't get the camera on them and y'all were just like just killing or either <laughs> we would pull a double <laughs> and i'd be running the camera and one of y'all would shoot one of the birds and then y'all would say hey you kill the other one and i would of course stiff arm the camera right yeah. knock it out the way <laughs> straight it's, to the dirt yeah it's down there filming ants and leaves and i'm over here smoking turkeys yeah and it would just never it never worked out where i could get one on film so sure enough that next day it just yeah. like the turkey day happened yeah. yeah and then ended up shooting that big old bird but yeah it was toad once y'all got to the hammock uh you know we we've had issues where we get to that hammock and we always try to go because it's so pretty you want to go up in there and it's get gorgeous. set up and somehow or another, there's always a bird in there somewhere. Yeah. And we get busted. So I have never had success there. I mean, last year we called 12 Jakes up. Right. But so uh, so I guess when y'all went in, y'all you said you went far right? Yeah, well, we, first we drove by because one side of the property you can see mm-hmm. from the road. Mm-hmm. So we, we scooted by there and we saw some long beards and several Jakes and hens. And so we kind of had a general idea of where they were at. So then we go back around to where you actually access the, pros- the the property. We go in, and as soon as we pull up, we can see them in the field. We get out the truck. We can see through the gaps. You can yeah. see them in the field. And they're working right toward the hammock, but they're still a ways out in the field. So I guess Casey was thinking, hey, try to stay as far away from them as we right. can. So we went all the way far right on the property line. We had the whole oak hammock between us and them and then the field. Yeah. and um kind of sitting down we kind of had that feeling like hey we might need to be a little closer than this oh, yeah. you got wind blowing you got weather moving in your time crunch before the rain's hitting oh, you yeah. got wind blowing your sound mm. so we're like we might need to cut some distance so we yeah. did we cut about maybe half the distance in mm. and set up and like daryl said it wasn't very pleasant setup yeah. for <laughs> you, you had a big oak there but trying to sit around in roots and oh, yeah. get a good back rest and catawba worms covering <laughs> us up like we were fresh and, leaves and drake drake was freaking out he had read where one of the fuzziest ones was poisonous so, yeah. so that was tearing so of course that's the one you you think about the yeah. whole time mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, then he leaned over and he just jumped and he i said what is it what is it and he says there's a snake and i said what so I did take a real look. I said, you know, I'm thinking maybe copperhead, rattlesnake, yeah. something. And, uh, of course, I know he had read pythons and everything. We're down <laughs> in Florida, so, you know. Yeah. And uh, and I said, I didn't see anything. I mean, I smoked it over pretty good, and I didn't see anything. So I said, oh, man, just just jack back and keep, take your nap so you'll be still. He said, I'm not, t- I'm not going to sleep <laughs> yeah. now. No, he was, he so, was too messed up. So we were, uh, you know, we were in kind of jacked up, and then uh, we got got up and got with Casey, and I said, you know, we we want to make a move. We need to we need to get close to those birds. Yeah. And um, because after that Saturday's over with, you you have half a day. Yeah. And then you're really pushing. Yeah. It. Yeah. And, and the weather and, and and everything else. Yeah. And I told I told Josh I said look, one half's gone. It's yeah. gone. I oh, mean, yeah. we're we're starting to we basically induce some pressure ourselves, and uh, so uh, we we made the move. Uh, we were going. We we're on the back side of the hammock next to the hay field, and we were going down a little bit further. And and then Josh uh, spotted birds in the field, and I let him talk about that. Yeah. So we're we're kind of there's a pretty area there that get Casey had uh, bush hogged out nice yeah. pretty clean up under his hammocks got palms everywhere Spanish moss hanging I mean when Beautiful. you think about Florida it oh, was yeah. exactly what it's, you think it's about. picture perfect I've it been waiting awesome. to kill one in there for four years yeah yeah and along with the snakes you know yeah. that the week before we go uh everything's going around the internet on Instagram with this cougar <laughs> you're right. uh, stalking yeah. the boys decoys down there in Florida so I'm down there thinking like is these snake boots gonna help me against <laughs> pythons cougars cactus everything else you know well hey that's where Drake comes in we can yeah. outrun him yeah, <laughs> yeah. so uh, so we're sliding through this hammock and we're about to go out what I would consider the back side of it and mm-hmm. kind of get more down in front of the birds yeah. actually we were actually moving to get in front of them the direction they were going but then I spotted them I'm last in line I'm toting camera I'm scanning the field i'm used to field hunting around yeah. here as y'all see yeah. 
we got a lot of fields and we're used to sliding down wood lines and actually looking through the the trees and being able to spot birds so i spotted the bird and then i spotted a fan so i start kind of a little hey uh, get everybody's attention i give them the little fan sign and and they all kind of fold back in and i'm like they're right here you know you see them straight out the, the back of this hammock in the field and then uh, as we're watching them you see them start chasing and at first we were like oh gosh they're running but then yeah. i realized they're doing loops that were chasing right so casey just drops decoy right where we're standing we fall back um blake i mean daryl and uh drake. and drake get right there up against the tree i kind of fold back behind them on my knees with the camera casey drops back yeah. about 15 20 yards behind us and and starts calling and immediately a hen answers mm. and um and it was kind of like one of the things like mm-hmm, if we can get her fired up this might be good sure enough cutting yelping she starts cutting yelping back she starts coming and she actually circles around the direction we were going right and we're still not sure the way the field turned we never saw the hens for no, all we know did. for all we know she she ducked into the cover coming to us i think and, she did and it boogered them birds up and between casey calling i started cutting she's over there cutting they they had to come in there and yeah. see what was going on so hey, let me interrupt right here and so part of our uh tradition of of course being there for opening day is that night typically we having luck that night we uh we go to the japanese steakhouse so that's that's with casey and his family family members could be his wife could be son and nephews and their families and it could be a it could be a crowd of four or or, or 15 so everybody was looking forward to that but you know drake trying to kill his first bird Josh trying to kill his first Osceola. I said, man, you know, we're going to put the, as much as I love it, we're going to put the yum yum sauce on the back burner, uh, you yeah. know, because, uh, you know, we want to get that bird. Go yeah. ahead. Tell yeah, me. his wife was, you know, she was already asking us when we stopped by the house. She was like, hey, we're we going to get some, some Japanese tonight. What's well, going on? Some, some hibachi? <laughs> uh, we, we trying. We trying to get there, but. Yeah, so we uh, we bounce back up against those trees and we get set up and, and man, it's 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 happening. The birds are fired up. They're um, we thought they were gonna come in the wood to our right. We later found out how the how the field actually dipped back in and turned. They were rolling around that field edge. They mm -hmm. were trying to find a good way to come in there, and uh, it just so happened to be 50 yards away was a foiler path coming in it, right off the field. It was cleaned. Oh, yeah. And then boys come dipping in there, and from the time they hit that foiler path to the time they got to us, they probably gobbled a dozen times. Yeah, it was awesome. And it was only a 15, 20-yard stretch. Yeah. And the storm was rolling in, yeah. clouds, wind, yeah. wind, more wind. And they're, they're, they're coming down that path. They're gobbling their heads off. Of course, I'm running the camera, and I'm thinking, "Oh man, you know." <laughs> I, I get so nervous. I get as ner more nervous running the camera as I do being behind the gun. You know, behind the gun, you just, just pull the trigger and kill yeah. it. At this point, you know, we've killed so many birds, but every one of them special. Every one of them does something different. But when you're behind that camera, it's a new aspect. Yeah. You know, you're trying to make sure everything's right. And you do a good job. Uh, I try. And you try yeah. not to move. Try and not to move. But yeah. you got to move with the yeah. birds. And I had a wad of Spanish moss that I had toted around all day, <laughs> and I had it hanging on that little camera. Yeah, I had it everywhere. Toggle worms crawling through it. So there you go. Right in the gap. So tell me, tell me about the the palm frond. 
So the, the famous palm frond, yeah. Of course, these birds come down this path, and this path makes a hard 90 to the left, which would put the birds right back up in front of us. Like, you know, they take 10 steps. They're from behind the, prom, the palm frond, in my view, um, and in the wide open clearing for filming purposes. But for, for Drake and, and Daryl, they can see them good. You know, they can see them perfect because I'm off to their left. And uh, guess where the birds stop? Yeah, right behind. <laughs> right behind the palm frond. And, and I'm freaking out. I'm like, Blake is going to kill me. <laughs> They're about to shoot the because because you got Drake there. You don't want much movement. You don't want much swinging. I mean, we yeah. went from having him set up in a blind, yeah, where he can move a little bit. His gun's on a rest. To now he's 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 got it on he, the he's big boy style. He's grown right man now. in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean he's he's stepped up to the yeah. big dogs. He's on yeah. the knee, he's on the dirt, he ain't got yeah. nothing in front of him. Yeah. I'm not holding it for him. No. And, and you you take into account that it's on the better the the back half of your whole day to hunt. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the storms coming and it's you know in the video you can see rain in the back of the field. Yeah. Yeah, it's, and, you it's know, there. <laughs> So so do you do you let the birds come further left to where uh you know Drake's got to spin and get off balance and you know do do you put yeah. all of those variables into play or do you just accept yeah. the fact and let the boy get his first bird well, not only know? that you got to think too you ain't got one set of eyes yeah you got like five yeah there now, was five long beards and now they're fired up but still, yeah. they're they're still on alert because they're, they're not. I'm I'm sitting here watching the video now. They're not 20 yards, you know. No, yeah. and, <laughs> and I don't even think they ever saw the decoys because I felt like where they stopped, they were still trying to find them. Yeah. And I felt like if they'd have seen the decoys, they'd have probably took off running to them as fired up as they were. But so they're still sitting there gobbling yeah. and looking, yeah. trying to you know. So any movement, right? It was one of them things. Hey, you well, got you got to let the boy. If eat. it would have just been us, yeah, or or if he'd already killed his first bird. We would have focused more setting up to swing back to the left to the hayfield and and followed them to the decoy. Yeah. However, and and y'all know I like, <laughs> I like to kill them, kill them dead, and and don't wait. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> to wait. He just shot them as soon as they broke the forward oh, path. Yeah. It'd been him. Oh uh, yeah. And so when they come around, I said I wasn't taking any chances. You know, I was hoping it was getting on film good, and I know you were doing all you could do. So I was trying to talk to uh, Drake and um, coach him through it. And, you know, we'd already talked about, you know, it was okay for him to shoot a Jake. It was legal, but he was pretty adamant my first bird's going to be a long beard. So yeah. he was sitting there, sitting there trying to verify in his <laughs> professional uh, professor's mind yeah. um, that it, they were all long beards. And Josh was saying behind us, they're all long beards, they're yeah. all long beards. Yeah, because I'm looking through the camera, and I, I've been zoomed in on them since they come through the off the field. And the whole time I'm looking, and each bird that comes by, I'm looking, and I yeah. see beards just hanging. And yeah. so I'm looking for any spikes. I'm looking for anything to say, hey, careful, careful. Yeah. And as they're walking through that gap, and I'm watching them, I'm like, long beard, long beard. And long they're just beard, got Long beard, got long beard. Got and they're, high, they're hammering. I'm like, hey. That's why I told him, I said, hey, they're all long beards. So, yeah. in other words, get you one. Katie barred the door. Yeah. Let, let them have yeah. it. I mean, you know, don't hold the boy back. Let yeah. him eat. So. so, And sure enough, like, I'm, I'm waking up trying to figure out where I'm at, and I get a text message, and, you know, dad's telling me, oh, it's not looking good, or this happened. We yeah. just spooked a bird. And I was like, oh, my God. So, I dozed back off and woke back up. He's calling me. And I look, while he's calling me, I pull up the text message, and I can see the video. I said, oh, boy. <laughs> and then he shot me a clip of just a video screen of what you filmed. Yeah. And I seen the palm front, and I ain't heard the story yet. So I'm like, okay, now here they come, you know. And then all of a sudden, I see shots going off. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting there just immediately mad. Like, I know he did not even let them come in there, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was like, God, they didn't wait again. But, no, <laughs> they were – they were locked and loaded, and, and you can still, after you pull it up on the big screen, still see plenty of the footage. And yeah, man, when they come in there, they come in there to play. It ain't no, yeah. ain't no joke about oh, yeah. it. Oh, we were in their head. Yeah. I mean, they oh, were yeah. already, they were jacked up anyway, just being turkeys mm -hmm. and, and strutting, being chased off. And, and then we got, like I say, we started out on a high, went to a low, back on a high, back to a low, back to a high, and then not necessarily a low, but we kind of, 
we kind of nulled out there and i said yeah. and once we made the move in the hammock it, it was on and and i told drake i'd already talked to him i said if if we get a chance to double up with with poppy that's what all my grands call me poppy so uh big poppy and uh so uh, <laughs> i knew it was coming <laughs> yep. so uh when uh when they were coming up i said okay you know you get the one on the right and i'll get one on the left and at one time they were their heads had crossed us mm, that's not good right there but uh yeah. yeah so i said drake okay you know you don't get the one on the right i'll get the one on the left i said we'll count the three you know we'll do it like me and blake and blake and josh does which happened again today by the way and uh next thing i know i said uh okay Three, two, one, one, two, three, whichever one. I said I can't remember that on the video, but when he got to the numbers, you know, he's not. I, I've got my gun up, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm aimed that way pretty good, you know, just from experience. And I'm focusing on him. I said, he's got him. Yeah. shoot, shoot, Drake, shoot him, Drake, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did. You can hear in the video. He, he definitely commanded him to shoot. <laughs> four or five times yes, sir. and and i figured whenever he finally did shoot there was going to be a delay you know and then dad's got to find a bird and shoot him and then you know me all this is running through my head while i'm watching the sure enough, it, there was no way <laughs> and so yeah then i'm behind the camera and this this all folds you know unfolds and birds scatter like cubbies of quail so we're talking a hammock and, yeah. and i've never heard it called a hammock until we went with Casey, yeah, but it is it's almost a, um, a umbrella. Cat. Yeah, I, I like an umbrella. Umbrella is pretty good. So uh, thank you. You, <laughs> <laughs> you figure an umbrella of these oak trees and and Spanish moss hanging down and thick undergrowth with just a couple paths. But as soon as you get inside, because there's such a tight canopy, it's clear, you know. And yeah. the birds love to get in there. It's 95, 100 degrees, and they're in there in the shade and everything. So these bad boys roll in. And y'all unleashed a beast on him. And that one, he goes off screen to the left flying. Yeah, he and then he can't get out. And the next thing you know, here he is. Boom, he lands. And Dad's, uh, no, Drake's bird's there flopping. He's flopping, carrying on, flopping on the ground. And and sure enough, this bird comes back, and it's like he takes a second wind oh, yeah. and, and lands. Yeah. And when he lands, he just blows up in a, a strut. And you can hear him, you know, yeah. purring. And next thing I know... <laughs> Josh comes across the screen and just unloads, dude. Well, you know, the bird, you know, you've heard the old fight or flight thing. Yeah. Well, he went from flight to fight because <laughs> he tried to take off out of there like he was getting out of Dodge. And then when he figured out he couldn't and he landed, he immediately, you got a bird flopping and it's like his brain went from, oh, he I flipped gotta, the script. Yeah, I got to leave to, mm. oh, wait a minute. Yeah. And then he starts turning sideways two-stepping on the side a boat up in the and, meantime you're standing in front of the camera oh like, yeah i had done jumped up because i you know i see birds flopping so i'm going to try to hurry up and go <laughs> make sure they don't flop out the way and everything and me and daryl bounce up and we're standing in complete open i mean you, yeah. we might as well be in a, in a wide open field oh, yeah and this bird ain't paid us a lick of attention. No. He comes up there, he's bowed up, he's looking down at the bird flopping, and Daryl's like, shoot him, Josh. So I, I throw my gun off my shoulder, and my sling is across the barrel. And I, when I see he's kind of in a trance, I just casually flip the flip the. Uh, I mean, it was a good five off. seconds of standing oh, yeah. there. Yeah, I just flipped the thing off and put it on his, you know, lead the bead and let him have it. <laughs> Ten yards, and just, <laughs> I mean, capsulated. He, he, if you watch that video, you can see him uh, to the left of that palm frond. You see that bird look like he folded up and fell in a casket. Yeah, yeah. ain't no. <laughs> I mean, his wings never flopped. Yeah, he just <laughs> put but, him to sleep. So, so you jump up, flatten the bird. Jo uh, Dad jumps up. You know, y'all hooping and hollering, carrying on. Yeah, I know where this is going. Oh, and wow. you, <laughs> y'all running out there and stomp. You know, stepping on heads, pulling. But birds are flopping. Y'all high fiving and hugging. And, oh yeah. 
It's Drake's first bird. Yeah. Where's he at? He's sitting up against a tree trying to figure out. He's pinned he's to the tree. <laughs> he's trying to peel his shoulder back. <laughs> so he realized the difference between a, a seven and a half shot Remington low brass mm-hmm. and a full on two and a quarter ounce shot rogue yeah. real quick. Yeah. And I he, y'all are standing there high fiving birds still flopping, and Drake comes up and that's all yeah, he, he, <laughs> he He's walking. Casey done had to help him up off the ground. He's got his hand on his shoulder. He he can't even be happy. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, that was the other thing too. Casey, you know, he's back there. He's kind of just yeah, caught he's kind of out, of out of the hunt almost. He don't know what happened. Oh, dang, he hears pow pow pow, and then he jumps up. He says, "Did you get them?" We're like, "Yeah, we got all of them." <laughs> uh, how many of them? The five. How many did you kill? Three. What? <laughs> and then he turns on and looks, and there's Drake over there. Well, like somebody done. He said he didn't need. He didn't know if he needed to high five Drake or give him CPR. Yeah. <laughs> Poor fella. But the whole time he's he's yeah, just holding he, that arm. He's standing beside his bird right now, going, "God, yeah. Spray it, baby. Figure it on that stuff. Look at them hooks, baby. He went on four right hand and two went back to Dobbin. But this one run back up and went and beat up one of them other birds. He said, shoot him. I said, Dude, when I got that hearing fired up, she went and took him back. I said, it's on now. Oh, yeah. It's on now. When I seen how they acted, you cutting and stuff, I started cutting with you. Was they all on the water coming to y'all? Yeah. These two right here that I kept drinking. Go ahead and shoot. Their heads was like that. They hit that path right there and they. Hey, we had a little path. bit too. That black gold was paying off today. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Wait, what? Wait a minute, what wait a minute. What? Look, look. They always oh. try to leave the cameraman out, but you know you can't <laughs> leave the cameraman out of this, huh? Hey, this was awesome hunt. We got as much footage as we could. Looking forward to showing it with y'all on YouTube.